What's up YouTube, this is Tyler with a video and today we're gonna to be cracking into a PSA case. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do it, do it safely and all the supplies that you need. So here we go. All right guys, so in order to crack your PSA slab, you all can see this is a brand new lighthouse holder, fresh from the national, serial number 631. Um, don't know if there's a difference in these cases uh, compared to cases in 2020, 2019. Honestly, I can't really remember. Uh, but, um, first thing you want to do is if your card has plastic, obviously take the plastic off. A couple of things that you're going to need. Uh, one, we're going to need something to clip the case apart. So get some pliers or, or something similar. Uh, next up, get a flathead screwdriver. Um, this is a flathead that is pretty big. Honestly, it may not work. Just, I have some other ones, but this is just the first one I grabbed. Um, and this is gonna be something to give you some leverage too. So honestly, the longer the better. <laughs> All right, next up, we also have this bread knife, I guess. So that one may not work, uh, but I'm, I have it here just in case uh, this doesn't work. So both of these are gonna do the exact same thing. So the goal here is basically clip off a corner and I would prefer to start up here at this upper right hand corner. Um, so the goal is to break off a piece of the case. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use both of these, uh, whichever one will actually fit inside to pry apart the case itself because the case consists of two parts, a front and a back that are sonically welded together. We obviously wanna break that apart, pry something in between the case, and then slowly crack the case open. So another thing, might be good to have some eyeglasses with you because chips will fly uh, with this. So um, just kinda is what it is. So what I like to do is get a good grab here on the corner, and then I don't wanna grab, you know, hold the card here and apply pressure. I would rather do it closer up here because I don't want to bend the card. So now I'm just going to slowly turn. Y'all can see, boom. No idea where all the pieces went, but at least there's one piece there. So y'all can see, we now have the card cracked. Beautiful, good start. All right, so let's see if we can get something in here to begin prying. Or we might have to do another piece. All right, so at least this guy can get in here. So now that we have something wedged inside and this may not be wedged far enough, uh, what we wanna do is begin turning the whatever we have wedged inside either to the right or the left just to create pressure to begin breaking these seals. And you'll be able to hear it and also uh, hear the, the frosting go away too. Before we do that, I don't really think that I have a solid enough break yet. Um, cause the last thing that you want to do is jam something in here, uh, really far, um, and apply too much pressure and then jam right through the card. You definitely don't want that to happen. I've not had that happen because I'm trying to be careful. So there we go. It's a lot better. And we even got the label out too. All right. So actually we might be able to get this guy in here now. Maybe. Oh yeah. Beautiful. All right, so I wanna apply some pressure, push this forward, begin turning. Did y'all hear that crack? Lots of cracking. Luckily that's not on the card, so. And we might actually be able to use our hands now. Maybe not. Let's get this butter knife in here. All right, so you all see, now I have this thing pried open. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide my finger in between that way I keep it open. And now I might actually be able to get this with my hand, slowly. What you don't want to happen is you don't want to pull back very hard and rip this case in half and have the case be basically right here with the card hanging out. That will make it very, very, very difficult to get this card out. I don't know if I'm explaining this appropriately, but do not pull this and break this piece off because this is what you want to have to apply leverage to remove the card, if that makes sense. Do not just rip this off and then you have this card with a hole in it and you don't have any broken seals here because it's gonna make it very difficult to pry through here and then um, you know, unbreak these seals essentially without damaging the card. Hopefully I explained that correctly but because this is a very, very critical step. You wanna go very slow 
you all can hear. Luckily, they have this inner sleeve. So now we've got this down. Let's get a little bit on this side. Beautiful. That is exactly how you want to do it. Nice and easy. You all can see the PSA slabs have that inner sleeve, which is really, really cool. So we cracked this bad boy out and we are going to have it now regraded. All right, hopefully you guys like this video. Uh, if this is helpful, by all means, hit the like button, leave a comment down below. Have you ever damaged a card before doing this? Was this helpful? Let me know down below and we'll see you next time.